speaker. Pini Henare. Tenakwe te maanga o te whare. First of all, Mr. Speaker, I just want to pay tribute to Iwi Nicholson, uh, Nga Nikol Min Hinnik, and of course my granduncle, Mr. Joe Shortland, my, who I share uh, with Ria Bond, our colleague, and I fare well him, who will be buried at our marae tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my uh, papa, Joe Shortland, he quite enjoyed tuna. Not the kind of slippery tuna that my uh, colleague, Mr. Calvin Davis, referred to earlier. And boy, has it been one heck of a show over the past week, sir. We have heard scandal, sex, drugs, and who, who else knows what's going to come. I'm going to come to that, Maggie Barry. Anyway, Mr. Speaker, what I want to talk about, sir, is I've looked over the Māori Party speeches in support of this government over seven years. And words like this come about when describing the relationship with this government and, of course, the current Prime Minister. Proud to be with this government. Proud to have the leadership of Bill English. Great leadership and strong leadership shown by this government, and we support them. I wonder, sir, why the Māori Party haven't said anything over the last couple of weeks. Because the words indicated in these speeches say they're joined at the hip. They're so joined at the hip that they are also supporting the failed housing policies from this government. Housing policies that have seen an increase in homelessness. More emergency housing needed, not being supplied by this government. In fact, the taking of reserves in Tamaki Makoto to solve the crisis that they've been ignoring for nine long years, sir. I think about that housing crisis, sir, and I wonder when the Māori Party decided to come up with this concept called Kainga Ora, launched in October 2015, and up until the end of May 2017, how many homes have been built? 11 homes. How many homes in my electorate of Tamaki Makoto, the electorate with the greatest need for housing in this country, how many have been built? None. Zero. So I also ask, well then, how many, how, how many dollars have been um, given to trying to work through some processes to solve the housing crisis in Tamaki Makoto? None. Zero dollars. Nothing. The place that needs it the most, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, was given nothing. Now, I want to go, I want to stay in Tamaki Makoto, sir, the great electorate of Tamaki Makoto. And I want to say to my people of Abataha Marae, those people on that side of the house, sir, don't know that my grandfather built that marae and opened that marae. This government call marae slums now. This government, though, was slow to assist Te Puya Marae one year ago, who solved the homelessness crisis facing Tamaki Makoto. They were slow to help Manurewa Marae that did exactly the same. Yet, when, when, when things are going well, when Kaikoda, the Marae at Naitahu, Kaikoda came to the assistance of the people of Kaikoda after the earthquake, oh, the government was there to pat them on the back and say, well done. The government came too late to the party with Te Puea Marae. Oh, but they were certainly there when our accolades were being handed out and they were patting themselves on the back. Sir, this is just not good enough. This is just not good enough. And in September this year, this country's got to make a decision. They've got to make a decision whether or not they choose a leader who is the slippery tuna that my colleague Calvin Davis referred to. The kind of leader that isn't fronting up to the issues that are facing our people. The people of Tamaki Makoto, the lack of investment in infrastructure, the lack of investment in housing, and the lack of investment, true investment, in Māori development, sir. In September, the people will get a chance to choose. And I just want to say one more thing, sir. Just recently, there's been an announcement of the One Pacific Party. They're joined now at the hip with the Māori Party. And I wonder just how much of an equitable say they will have in that party when it's already crowded at the top. Let's have a look at the top. Who's at the top? Hone Harawira, Te Uruua Flavel, Marama Fox, Rahui Papa, Howie Tamati. And I say to the Pacific people and One Pacific, actually, are you taking your people in the right direction? I'm going to argue no, sir, no. And in Tamaki Makoto in particular, where there is a large Pacific Island community, or Totahi the same in Christchurch, here in Te Whanganui Atara Wellington, I say to the Pacific people, please, Go into the voting booth on the 23rd of September with your eyes wide open. 
The time for this debate has expired. I call on members' order of the day number one. Films, videos and publications...